Hey, I'm RC and this is the third episode about making a multiplayer HTML5 game with Node.js. If you haven't watched the last episode, then I would highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, I will be covering how to handle multiple players at the same time. So the plan right now is to create a canvas, so a drawing surfaces where we will draw all the players. And basically when you connect, the server will add you to the list of players that are currently connected. Every frame, the server will update your position and send the position of the players to the clients and then the clients will draw them. So that's what I will be doing right now. So the first thing we will be doing is creating a list of sockets. So whenever um, a socket, a client connects to the server, this function over there is called. And what we will do is that we will assign a unique ID on the socket. So socket.id equal Matt random. You can add property to sockets, something like that. We will also add an X and a Y parameter. Obviously, um, eventually we will change that system to make it a little bit more flexible, but I want to keep it simple for um, this video. So socket ID, X and Y. And um, we need to add it to the list of sockets. So if two player connects, then socket list will contain two players. Um, Next, what we are going to do is this, is to create a loop. So every single frame, and we will run at 25 frames per second over here. So this is a loop. This function over there will be called um, every 40 milliseconds. So what we will do is that we will loop through every um, every socket in our socket list like that and we will emit well wait so we will update the x position so the x will increase by one the y will also increase by one and we will emit a um a message called new position position that will contain the data of the new X and the new Y, something like that. So for every player connected, I loop through them and I send their new position. So right now, um, a player can only know its own position. So I want to make this system with one player and then scale it to multiple players. Um, and okay, so we emit this message over here, but the client does not listen to it. So if we just do that, nothing will happen because we, we didn't specify any function to do with this data over there. So on the client, this is what we are going to do. So first we will create a canvas over there. Um, if you're not really familiar with canvas, you can um, check out one of my um, older videos about how to create a single player um, RPG game. The link will be in the description. So this is the code to create the canvas. Then we want to get the drawing context over here. So this is what we will use for um, drawing. We could also change the font to 30px Arial, so it's a little bit bigger. And over here, okay. So whenever the client will receive a message from the server called new position, what we are going to do is we will clear the canvas and then we will fill text at, uh, let's say a P and data.x, data.y. So basically what this does is I connect to the, um, to the server. So this function over here is called. What it does is that it assign a unique ID to the socket, set the X and the Y to zero and add it to the list of sockets currently online. Then I got a loop interval that is called every 40 milliseconds. It loops through every socket and for each of them, it increased the X and Y and it sends a package containing the new position of the socket. So this goes over here. We will clear the canvas and then we will write the letter P um, with the X and Y of the data. Okay, so as usual, we want to save, then we type node app.js, then we open browser, go to localhost 2000, 
and we will see our P moving um, downwards. And as you can see, there's no calculation done on the client. Everything is handled by the server. So now I'm going to modify the code so it can handle multiple players. It will, there will be multiple players being shown on the screen. So how I will do it is that every frame I'm going to create a little package. So that package will contain the information about every single player in the game. And this package will be sent to every player connected. So over here, instead of emitting it right here, I'm gonna go there. So loop through every sockets. For each socket, I'm going to push this data over here. And at the end of that package will contain all the data of all the players. And I'm going to do another loop. And in that loop, that's where I'm going to emit the new positions, maybe with an S. And I'm going to add the package as a parameter. Now here on the client, I need to um, change it a little bit. This data is now an array. So I'm going to loop through every player in the array and for each of them, I'm going to draw it at the X and Y. There we go. Okay, so I made some typos. So here and this over there goes here. So let's just save both of them, update the server. Then we want to refresh the page. And as you can see, we see our P moving downwards. And if we connect with another player, we'll have two P's. And if I refresh the page, and another player will join. And both screen, well, every client connected to the server will see the same thing. Okay, so one little problem with the system right now is that when a player logs in, we add a P, but if the player leaves, we keep the P going on and we still refresh the player. Um, what we should do is that when the player disconnects and leave the page, um, its P should also be removed. And this is what we will do. So um, one special event um, is the disconnect event, or basically right as the player leave, it sends us a disconnect message. So we can actually listen to that disconnect message on the server, disconnect. And whenever this happens, what we will do is that we will delete it from the socket list over here. So this is done automatically. You don't need to put like the emit disconnect. So you don't need to put that, it's done automatically. So whenever the player will disconnect, this will be called and we will delete it. Now, another thing I would like to do is to add um, a random number on, let's do floor of 10 times mat random. So every socket will have a random number between zero and one, and this will be used to distinguish the different players. And here in the package, we will also include it over here. And here, instead of writing down the letter P, it's going to be the number of the player. Okay, so let's just reset the server and then log into the game. So as you can see, we see the letter two. If I go here, we will see the five. And if I leave this page, the number two will disappear. If I log back in, I should see the nine. And everything is working well. So I guess that will be pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it. And don't forget to click the annotation on the screen to go check out the next episode. So what I'm planning to do is to add interactivity. So with the keyboard, you will be able to move your player around and shoot bullet and it will be displayed in the other player screen at the same time. So thanks again for watching and see ya.